Oh, good morning, guys. Uh, this morning, we have a new baby. And uh, I went out this morning about, well, right before bedtime. We, I've been trying to go to bed earlier at night. Uh, <laughs> not sleeping real well. Anyway, I went out right before bedtime. Miracle's eating her hay. She was fine. No, not even close to having a baby. Uh, got up this morning at 4.30, I think it was, and I went out, and she was going into labor. So I come back, and I got dressed, be, so I'd be warm. Cold, rainy, miserable weather out there. She's inside uh, that stall. And got some dry towels and stuff from my shop, and I went back and I wasn't there too long before she actually had the calf and the calf's a big calf. She had no problems having it. But the minute it was born, and well, not she didn't try to clean it up. You know, she made no effort to clean the baby up or nothing, just went on about her business, back to eating hay and stuff. But when the little calf finally did, now I massaged him and dried him off good. When he finally did get up, and I sat there for a good while. Actually a long time. You can move your tail, please. I'm trying to talk. And, uh, come on, baby girl. Seriously, go somewhere else. You know who that was, huh? Macy. Anyway, uh, when he did get up and, and try to come near her, just, just coming to her, she would turn and butt him and just knock him, knock him for a loop. And, but that's the first thing they try to do is get up and nurse, you know, when he got up. So anyway, and then I try to hip him, get up to nurse, and she kicks. She turns around and butts him. He even butted me once. <laughs> but, uh, so I really had a hard time with it. And eventually, uh, when he's getting up and down pretty good on his own, and I'd come back in a couple of times, went back out, and, and, and she had him up beside the wall, butting him, in the wall, just never seen nothing like that. So I made her get away and went and got her grain feed and put it in there and tried to get him up so he could nurse again. She kicked like crazy, turned around. She butted me, butted him. And so I come and got some warm water and kind of massaged her out her little bits, you know, tight, and maybe sore. Well, I'm sure it's sore. Uh, she had nothing to do. She wouldn't want that at all. It's just the baby. It's just don't let that baby near me. And she would butt him. And like I said a couple of times, got him upside the wall, butt him. So I moved her. And finally, I said, I just got to move her. And I put her on the outside of the pen. And he would come up beside that wire fence, and she would butt the fence and knock him down. I've never seen nothing like that in my life. With, with a, with a, you know, I've seen goat stuff just walk off and leave them. And I believe if she'd been in the pasture, I believe if she'd been out in the pasture, she'd have walked off and left that calf. She don't want that calf. And I don't, I don't understand that with her first calf, but I've never seen even first calf calves, first calf cows do that. Not be mean to them. Maybe not want them, but not be mean to them. But I believe she would have left him if out in the pasture. So, anyway, Bree, you'll see in this video, we got a little bit of milk down him. I'd got a little bit down him before, but I couldn't hardly do it by myself. And uh, we got some more down him. I keep that colostrum milk on hand here, uh, substitute. And so we got, that's what we're giving him, and we get him going on that. We may have to just bottle feed him. And if we do, uh, I'll turn him over to Bree. She was a good mama. Gotta make a good mama. All right. But, and then uh, Miracle will go back out with Ivan in the pasture. I think it's where she wants to be right now anyway. I think it's where she wants to be. Catch you guys later. I hope you enjoy the video of the baby. And I think Bree wants to name it Myra. Myra. Oh, today's G's birthday. 
Catch you guys later. Well, good morning, folks. Uh, today is February the 2nd. This is Miracle's baby. It's also G's birthday. <laughs> uh, it's a beautiful little calf. It's a big calf. And she had it with no problems. But uh, we've got a couple issues here. She refuses to let it nurse. In fact, she actually gets pretty brutal with it when it tries to nurse. So I'm thinking, okay, her udder is sore. It's full. So I put feed in the trough, and I get the bucket of warm water, and I kind of massage her udder a little bit and try to milk, and she kicks like a mule. Uh, I tried to hold her, let the calf nurse, but she's already got the calf scared of her. Now here's something I couldn't understand. She would turn around and literally not only butt it, but she'll push it into a wall and just keep on butting it. I, I don't understand this. I've never seen a mama cow be so brutal, <laughs> brutal to a baby. Uh, so G and I have been talking about all morning. I've let her, I've taken her out of here because when I left her a while ago and I come back, she had it up here next to the feed over by that wall, butting it, butting it hard. So I took her out, and uh, you see how big it's a big calf. Come on, you can get up. There you go. Look at that. It's a big calf. And she's right outside the thing here. But if I let her in her, she starts butting him. Now, I've, I went ahead and made a, uh, I have, I always keep on hand a bottle of the colostrum uh, substitute. And I mixed it up. And I'm going to get Bree to come help me. We're going to try to give him. So I tried it by myself. There's no way I could hold him and give him the bottle at the same time. So I'm going to have Bree come over, and we're going to try it together. Uh Later, I'll let her, I got to get something in him first, but then later I'll let her back in. If she beats him up again, then I'm going to just take her away from him. I'm not going to let her hurt it. And she, she hurts it. Anyway, it's a cute little kid, a little girl. It's a little girl. Looks like her mama. <laughs> uh, born this morning, uh, I got up early. I've been trying to go to bed earlier and check it on her off and on, but I come out early this morning when she was having it. Oh, about 4.30, almost 5 o'clock. And it's in the afternoon now. But she's actually, it got up by that wire while ago, and she budded it, budded it hard, knocked it all the way over. <laughs> so I don't know what's wrong with her. She don't want a baby. She just wants to go out and hang out with Ivan. All right, so I'm going to go get a hold of Bree, and we'll come back out here in a little bit. It's very cold this morning. It's nasty. It's rainy. Good thing was she had it in here. It went out a little while ago, got a little bit wet. When I come back out, they were both standing out here in the water and she was butting it around. So I made it come back in here and closed it up. I'm gonna go and uh, get Bray to come over. Uh, my priority is to take care of this baby. Cute little thing. But Miracle, it went up beside the fence and she butted the fence and knocked it over in this grass, in this hay. Uh, I don't, I'm not understanding her, her deal here this morning. Uh, we're gonna get Bree to come help me give a, get him some milk in him. And later I'll let her back over here and just see if she's still mean to him. If she's still mean, we're gonna have to work something else out. 
He's getting scared to even get by the fence or she'll butt the fence. Not a good mama, little girl. You're not a good mama. <laughs> not like I thought she would be. It's a big calf. Yeah, it looks like you say, okay, she's trying to love. Now she butts him. If he gets up close, she'll butt hard and knock him down. So I'm going to go talk to Bree. <laughs> 